Hey everybody, Volen here in Pursuit of Art. It's been a couple months since I spoke to you guys. It's been a couple months since I spoke to anyone on the internet, really. I disconnected completely. No YouTube, no social of any sort. It was one of those times where I had to really just pull back and rethink what am I doing? Why am I doing it? How am I supposed to get it done? So just had to basically unplug, get away from the daily grind and just look at the big picture for a little bit and see what I'm doing and see if it's a good idea or not. And I had to make a lot of changes. And last time I made a video, there were actually a lot of things happening at the same time. It really, it really was not a great time. And I don't really record too many of those videos, but I want to also do those and post them because I want you to have a realistic idea of what this looks like, of what this process of getting better looks like. I don't want you to have the illusion that you're the only one struggling or that, you know, well, I would do art all the time or I would do my practice if this didn't happen or, you know, it would be easy for this guy because he didn't have to do this, but I have to do this and that. So I basically just want to give you guys a realistic look at what the process looks like, any process of improvement in whatever it is that you're looking to do. This, it comes with ups and downs. It comes with a lot of downs and it's just not a good, it's not a good vibe to make a video when you're in that place. But at the same time, if you don't capture those at the time, you kind of lose the feeling. Like when I make a video now, I feel completely different than how I felt two months ago when I was right in the middle of everything that was going on. So I tried to record basically the crap times as well as the good times because I'm not interested in giving you guys a persona of like, hey, I'm winning or like I'm only getting better. I just want to show you what it actually looks like because I was very unprepared when I first started. I had no idea what I was getting myself into and I didn't know what it was supposed to look like. I could only look at other people's work and make guesses about how quickly they improved or what it looked like. Did they struggle with stuff? Is it just me? Did anyone else find everything hard or like were are people supposed to be good at certain things? Is this going to work out basically or not? And I just want to give you a realistic full view of how what of what it looks like, of how it is. So for those of you that are kind of following along the story arc of how this thing is unfolding and what's going on, what I'm doing and just what's happening while I'm working on art, you know, just because you've decided to focus on something and just because it's paramount right now and it's really important and it's very urgent that you get better. Well, life isn't on hold really. So you got to manage that and everything else that happens all the time. So I'll just give you a quick overview of what happened a couple months ago and some lessons learned from it moving forward and what's going on right now. So I had a pretty good constellation of crap, basically, a couple months ago. Um, if you've been following along with the videos, you know I was kind of contemplating the idea of resigning from my job and really going all in for about six months, eight months, a year, however long it took, because I felt like I was at kind of the last step just before pro. So I thought, you know, maybe I'll just take a leap over here and see what happens. And really a lot of things happened just within two months my entire situation just completely changed so it looked like hey if i take this leap this is how it could possibly unfold and within two months everything that i was basing my plan on was different everything changed which is awesome it's cool it's it was very difficult at the time because it was very stressful you know you have all these things happening at the same time you have financial issues, work issues, career issues. I was also doing the mentorship with Darek just a month or two before that. And that really made me question a lot of the things that I was doing. Darek Zabrotsky, by the way, if you haven't seen the videos, one of the guys from Level Up, awesome guy, awesome experience. It was incredibly beneficial. It was also incredibly tough because I had to face up to some things that I thought I had, but I didn't really have. But 
I felt at the time I was ready for a mentorship. This is a whole nother video again, but since I'm just giving you like a bulk update here, I'm only talking a little bit about it. Getting a mentorship was awesome because I felt I was ready because I spent years on my own just trying to figure stuff out. And I really was ready to speak to someone else, to see someone with experience, to see what is it that you look for? You know, what are your... What are, what are your metrics? What do you look at when you look at a piece of art? You know, what's important? I really needed to get some of those things. I needed to get out of my head, basically, because I've been doing this all on my own. So I needed someone else's perspective, someone with experience to see what they look for and see how I match up to that. So I really had to own up to a lot of things that I wasn't very good at. I thought I was. My, my big picture was wrong, essentially. So getting to do the mentorship, very beneficial, very stressful at the same time, like taking a course or doing a mentorship or any of those things, it's not really a, an instantaneous boost to your skill level, to your art. It really is something that you take on board over a period of time. Like I'm actually, I'm, I'm finding myself getting better now, three, four months after the fact than I was at the time because at the time it's just too confusing to try and put all the pieces together. So a lot of times improvement feels like a kick in the ass rather than just yay victory. It's actually oh crap dude really seriously seriously bro I have to do all this now too seriously but that just means that your eyes are open now to all the things that you're either doing wrong or to new possibilities and how you can improve. It basically means that everything you thought you were doing and you were awesome at now sucks because you just have a new frame that you're looking at through. So that was going on. Everything was going on. So a lot of stress from art, a lot of stress just in general from, hey, I've been doing this thing for four and a half years. And then now all of a sudden I got my butt kicked. And, you know, how long is it going to take exactly? Is this even feasible? Should I keep going? Should I do something else? I could have started a bottle cap selling business four and a half years ago and it probably would have been successful by now. I at least would have made more money, let's say, or I would have had more success than this. And this is, you know, a very narrow way of gouging. I mean, the whole entire process of improving at this one thing, it's changed how I think, it's changed who I am, it's changed everything. But you know, I'm sure you know, that sometimes you get stuck in very small minded mode and like just looking at when am I going to get my reward? When am I going to get all the money? When am I going to get all the stuff that I'm supposed to get? How come they're all getting the stuff? I ain't got no stuff, right? Sometimes you get in that mode. So it's, it was just, like I said, a constellation of crap. And it was just so many things that were happening at the same time. And they were all pretty stressful and they were all, they were all pressure. Like it was a lot of different pressure from a lot of different places. Everything was just falling apart. So I had to take some time, pull back, think about what's going on, reevaluate. And yeah, like I said, I think I've actually gotten some pretty good progress since then. And again, it wasn't linear. It wasn't just, yes, I will think about this for a day. Everything is resolved by tomorrow. It was actually, it was, I, like, I would wake up at about 1 or 2 a.m. and I would wake up with, what the fuck am I doing? What should I do now? Why am I doing this? So it was a lot of cortisol, a lot of adrenaline. It took a long time, like physically. It, it affected me physically. I lost my sleep. I couldn't sleep. I'm still having some trouble with that. So four months later, I still can't really get to sleep. Put me in zombie mode for quite a while because when you lose your sleep, prefrontal cortex goes, you can't really control yourself too well, you can't remember, you can't consolidate memory, so you can't learn very well. So I spent quite a few days just sitting right here where I'm at right now, at my desk, doing my artwork, but really doing it at like 20%, 10%, just kind of zombieing through the day because no sleep and pressure. And what do I do now? And how's it going to work out? How's it going to play out? All the same things that I'm pretty sure that you have too. A couple months later though, things are moving along pretty well. Things are more stable, things are more clear. My practice is a lot more defined. I've changed my expectations. Like I've changed when I think something should happen by versus how long is it realistically supposed to take. 
And I think that's huge. I think expecting things and expecting them just because you think they should happen versus have an experience of the process and how long something takes. I think that's always a disaster scenario. I mean, you have no experience. You don't know how long you've never seen it done before. But then again, you think that within a year, within two years, within three years, I'm the same. I do that too. That puts a lot of pressure on you. Time pressure is one of the worst things that you could possibly do. There was like this one study of seminary students. It was like religious students and they basically had them go through this one park and there was a homeless person there or someone in pain and two scenarios. One was they had some time. The other one, they had no time. They were late for something. When they had some time, they were all compassionate. They all stopped. They helped. When they had no time, the seminary students ran right past. Didn't have time. Couldn't afford to. It's one of the things that really changes how you do things. Your perspective of time. How much time you think you should spend on things. Now, I was listening to some Louis C.K. interviews and he was saying how it takes about 20 years to produce a good comedian. And I've been listening to a lot of other artists from a lot of different fields just share their perspective on how long they think development, gestation period takes. Joseph Campbell said that if you want to be a writer, you have to spend 10 years to just have a shot, right? It's not guaranteed that you're going to get it. You need to spend 10 years to just have a shot at this thing. So listening to things like that and just remembering the bigger picture and remembering my own why I'm doing all this stuff and really appreciating so much more the fact that I am privileged enough to be able to improve. I am I'm able to improve. When I started, very fixed mindset years ago. I had no idea if this could be done or not. Now I have no doubt that it could be done. The only... The only limitation is how strategic I am with it, how creative I am with my process, how much I limit, how much I do the discipline of doing less and just partition my progress. The limitation is me. The limitation is not whether my brain can handle it, whether we can all do whatever it is that we want to do. No, you can. You are equipped with one of the best pieces of technology in the known universe, right? Your brain, one of the most complex things that exists neurons in the billions as complex as a galaxy i think there was something that you have as many neurons as or more as there are stars in the milky way insane amount just right here so this is capable of doing it the only thing is just how you utilize it so no doubt about whether it can be done and i'll leave you with this one quote before i go this is one of my favorite things and i keep going back to it because i think it's awesome so this is all part of the quote 300 years ago a prisoner condemned to the Tower of London carved on the wall of his cell this sentiment to keep up his spirits during his long imprisonment. It is not adversity that kills, but the impatience with which we bear adversity. James Keller, right? It's not adversity that kills, but the impatience with which we bear adversity. I think that's amazing. That means that it's not because it's hard. It's, that's not what makes it hard. Like the difficulty doesn't come from the fact that it's hard. It's your impatience in wanting it to be resolved, to like just be done with it. I want, I want it now. I want the next thing. It's not adversity that kills. That's not the thing that's actually hard. It's the impatience. I think that's amazing. I go back to that very often and I try and just embed that in memory. As long as you're not wanting something and as long as you're not, come on, just give it to me now. Three months I spent three weeks on this. I want it now. I've been drawing for three weeks. Where's my shit? As long as you don't have that, as long as you're happy to put in the work, as long as you appreciate the fact that putting in the work makes you better, that you have to tighten up your discipline, tighten up your character, see where you're failing, because it's possible. But it's the process that determines whether you succeed or not. It's all on you. And I think that's cool. Thank you, everybody, for sticking around. Thank you for all the messages. Thank you for the emails, like I said before. Thank you everyone for the support. If you made it through the video, let me know. I would like to know if there is a single person that's made it through. I'm sure there will be, but thank you for doing that. Let me know how I can be of help because I will read all the comments. I just probably will not be making videos for some time until I figure out you know, what my schedule is like, what my process is like. I'm not trying to do too many things and burn out. I'm trying to do a few things and do them consistently and have consistent growth. I'm not trying to do too many things this time. Thank you guys. Really appreciate you. 
Hope you're doing good. Thank you very much. That's about it. I don't feel like going, but I have to go now. Thank you.